Shalom. Prophesying to the wind reloaded will be with you live on AM 1370 WLTH Radio every other Sunday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you there. Hey, shalom, shalom. We are back live. You're listening in to Prophesying to the Wind Reloaded on WLTH 1370 Radio. And again, if you want to call in with any questions, comments, or concerns, you can dial in 219-885-1371. 219-885-1371. So we're going to continue on read this article real quick. Slavery in the United States was legal, was the legal institution of human chattel slavery, comprising the enslavement primarily of Africans and African Americans that existed in the United States of America from its founding in 1776. Uh, it went back farther than that. Don't don't be don't be fooled. It was further than that. It was back in back to more so like 1492, right. 1619. Right. But go ahead. From its founding in 1776 into the passage of the 13th Amendment in 1865, slavery was established throughout European colonizations in the Americas from early colonial days. Colonial, colonial days. It was practiced in Brit in Britain's colonies, including the 13 colonies which formed the United States. Under the law, an enslaved, an enslaved person was treated as property and could be bought, sold, or given away. So that, and then that, that still goes, that's still today. We are considered property. That's why they can shoot us down and not get justice right. because we are their property. We still the slaves. We still in our enemy's land. We ain't been delivered yet. You going to church talking about you saved. You ain't been saved from this captivity. Bring it up. You still in captivity. Right. You still subject to payment. Stop saying you saved because you're not. Read. Slavery lasted in about half of U.S. states until 1865. As an economic, as an economic system, slavery was largely replaced by shop share shop sharecropping, and Convict leasing. So basically, they just changed the name. You were still a slave. They just changed the name to make it sound good. That was deception. Right. So the slavery, we still in slavery today. Don't don't get it twisted. That Juneteenth and all that, we still slaves. All of that, Juneteenth wasn't even, it didn't even have nothing to do with freeing slaves. Right. It had something with save, it had something to do with saving their union. That's what it was. That's what it was about. It wasn't. It ain't got. It had nothing to do with us. They didn't care about us. They didn't. They didn't want a better. A better way for us. They wanted a better way for themselves to save their union. Bring it up. So remember that we are still in the land of our captivity. Right. You got to remember that. Let's go to Amos chapter five and twenty one. Because today we we uh, we going over. You got. We're not independent. Stop celebrating Independence Day. Right. This is not a feast day of the Most High God. Right. Remember that. Read. The book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast days. So this is the most high God talking to us. He said, I hate, I despise your feast days. Those are strong words. Those are very strong words. He said, I hate and I despise your feast days. So us, us participating in Independence Day, uh, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Christmas. The most high hate when we do those things, he hate us for doing the thing. It ain't no um what is it, what they what they say in the Christian church, hate the sin and love the sinner. Yeah, right. No. If you in the midst of that, the most high God hates you because you're not doing it, you're not doing what he told you to do. Right. So stop, stop doing against the commandments of God. Read. Is that on that? And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. The most high ain't hearing your prayers, he ain't hearing nothing you got to say. If you following out, if you being conformed to this world, 
you fashion yourselves after the the things that this world has set up. Is that it on that? Yeah, he said your feast days. He said your and me. And exactly good that you brought it up. It's it's very very specific. He says your feast days. Let you know that Independence Day ain't in the Bible. Right. right. That's right. He want us to do what he told us to do. Right. He want us to keep the commandments that he gave us, and he gave us feast days. Go to um, Jeremiah five and verse one, because we have, we gotta we gotta we gotta read our Bibles. We gotta read our Bibles so that we can apply what the, our Bible says. We can't be following after the ways of this world. We gotta come up out of that. That's the purpose of this show. That's the purpose. That's our purpose. Our goal is to show you where you're going wrong, so you can repent and get it right. Read. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 1. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof. And ye shall and ye can find a man, if there be any, that executed judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. So the, the Moses most had telling telling our telling um uh, telling our people to run through run to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. Jerusalem was the was our uh, the capital of Judah. It was the, it's our of our land, Israel. Right. Run through our land. But right now we ain't in our land. So now today, run through the streets of Gary. Run through the streets of Chicago, where we at, and see if there's any that execute judgment. And see if there's any that seek the truth, that seek after God's laws. That 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 that. And he says, "I will pardon it." And he says. I'm gonna go back. It says, if there be any that executed judgment, that means is there, is there any that's reporting these evil Negroes that's killing people? Right. Is there anybody that's that's snitching, as they would say, so called? Right. Is anybody revealing the evil that's going on on in the community so that they can get the evil out of the community so our kids can stop getting murdered yep. and shot down? And he says, seek it, and he said, if if you find any, he a pardon. I mean, he right. forgive us. But when you do that, you go to our community. You're not gonna find it. That's why. The, that's why. The, that's one of the reasons why the violence is so high in our community. Because ain't no, ain't nobody seeking the truth. Ain't nobody seeking judgment. Read verse two. And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. That's your Christian. Yes, your yes, your so-called Christians that 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 promise that they live by the Bible and all that. They 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 always got. They always got. Uh, vain words coming out of their mouth talking about they blessed of the Lord they blessed and highly favored they saved that's what this is talking about read O Lord are not thy eyes upon the truth thou hast thou hast stricken them but they have not grieved so the most he said hey, he's stricken us but we have not grieved we are living the curses our neighborhoods are, are evident that we live under the curses and we are not grieved we, we, we take joy in going to celebrate Independence Day. Right. We take joy in doing all these foolish things, but then we go back home and we living in the curses. We living in the slums. Right. We living in the ghettos. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. We refuse correction day in and day out. Right now. When, I, when, it, when a three-year-old three gets shot and killed, the three-month-old gets shot and killed, we refuse to receive the correction. Because believe it or not, these things are happening. The most high God is controlling everything. Just, we're not going to go there for time's sake, but Deuteronomy 32 and 39 says, God says, I kill right. and I make alive. Right. So these things are happening to us like this because we re refuse to receive correction. Read. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. We are a stiff-necked people. I mean, yeah, you got they got that little child, your, your, your son or daughter. You tell them to do something, and they they neck stiff up. Mm -hmm. That's what it's talking. We are stiff neck people. Disobedient. Read disobedient. Th Therefore, I said, surely these are these are poor. They are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment thereof and of their the, God. And this is the problem. We do not. Our people. We do not. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. You don't know the way of the Lord. I don't care how many Bibles you got on your bookshelf. Right, I don't care right. how many Bibles you set on your dashboard. I don't care about the the the, the uh the rosary beads that you're not supposed to have anyway that you got hanging on your uh your 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 uh rearview mirror. Though that don't mean nothing to the Most High God right. because you ain't doing what He told you to do. Jump to verse twenty five. 
Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. So we are in captivity. We are at the bottom of society because we are in the midst of sin. We are in we are we are in the midst of breaking God's rules. So that's why we we don't we, that's why we are not the ruling nation. That's why we are not the top nation. Because the most high created us and gave us the world, but now we living at the bottom and we don't we don't possess an inheritance with the world. Because we choose to day in and day out break God's commandment. Right. That's why the thing's going on in our community. Read. Verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that, as he that set up snares, they set a trap, they catch men. This is your, this is, not only is he talking about your, your, your gangs and game bangs and all that, they set a trap and lay a snare. This is talking about your politicians, your black politicians, right. your Christian pastors. They just lay a snare because they're not teaching you God's commandment. Right. So they laying a snare for you to catch it. They doing the biddings of the of the oppressor, and they you catch it, and now you in the midst of you deeper in the midst of sin. You being led astray. You being constantly fooled. Uh, from jump to thirty one. Verse thirty one, the prophets prophesied falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. You love to follow after your politician that's not, that, that ain't giving you no solutions. How is it that we got all these black politicians, black aldermen, all of that stuff? Bring it out. But then your community ain't changing. Right. You, right. Still, you still got abandoned buildings all over the it's place. Right. You, it's just getting, it's getting worse and worse and worse. That's letting you know that they ain't doing nothing. They doing the biddings of their master. They the, they the house slaves. They the, yeah. what, what, they, what we are called today, they the house niggas. Right. right, they doing what the master. What movie? I forgot what movie it was. I think it was Samuel L. Jackson. He played a, a the house slave Django. 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 Yeah. And you had you had he was in there t trying to tell him not to do what mm -hmm. he was doing. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember the movie specifically. You remember? Yes, sir. So you got you got Samuel L. Jackson's character, right? He was the old butler. So and his role was to make sure that he made sure that the slaves did everything that the master said. But then you had Jamie Foxx. He was the one that was actually rebelling. So you had uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's character. He wanted to make sure that everything was going smooth, that there was no hiccups, that everybody abide by the master. That's going to your politicians. The politicians do exactly everything that the government is asking them to do. That's how they got in that role to begin with. Right. Yep. If you actually want somebody to make a change, they have to go against the government, the, the system that is being placed, that is oppressing your people. Right. That's why when you look at our communities, they never change. They only get worse. When a, when somebody um, that's in that's putting power to uh, to be your your alderman, your mayor, they only do things to help white folk. They don't do nothing for your community. In fact, the stuff that uh, the things that is in your community close down things get worse i mean so you you look at all the abandoned bu buildings that you have you look at the potholes that's in the street and you're sitting there you're complaining you're like where all my tax dollars all where's they going they're going right into the pockets of the government yep so that's and that's what we gotta we gotta know is that the prophesied prophet the prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means going back into your christian pastors as well because they doing they also the politicians and the Christian pastors are working hand in hand. They, they're working hand in hand to keep you down. Right. And it says, my, did we finish that? We finish and my that? people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? It says, we love to have it so. And the most I ask them, what will you do in the end thereof? What you going to do when judgment day come? Mm -hmm. You going to try to plead for you, Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, you know because you hear it right now. Right. You just being rebellious. He said, but in that day, it's going to be too late. That's why he said what will you do in the end thereof? Because at that time, it's going to be too late. Mm -hmm. When Christ, when the, when, when the black Christ, when the black Messiah cracked that sky, it's too late. It's over. Time is up. Right. The grace period is done. Payment is due. And if you've been living in sin and wickedness and celebrating Independence Day, your payment going to be death. That's you right. ain't going to get the kingdom. Right. So today we out. We, you hearing these things? I don't care how much charcoal you bought and how much meat you bought to put on the grill today. You heard you hearing us today? Stop right now. Don't make no Terry in the turn to the Lord. Right. The thing, the thing with that is all that charcoal, that meat, that's gonna be your that's a that's a symbolism for you. 
in that day when the Lord come, that you're going to be the charcoal and that meat. You're going to be the one that's, that's roasting in fire if you don't repent and turn from your wicked ways. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.